Hi everybody, I got a question about TechNEC and um, yes, I am holding a flip phone and although this is uh, pertaining to using our cell phones, it could be pertaining to um, using an iPad, uh, using your computer a lot, looking down, being on your couch or sitting on a chair and looking down for a long period of time. Um, and so one of the first things I would say is make sure you take breaks. So the longer you do it, the more the muscle and your joints adapt to it. So just be very conscious of how long you're on a device. And one of the things that happens is when you are looking down for a long period of time, these muscles, and I'm going to specifically talk about the upper trapezius muscle, this muscle, big muscle that supports your head, your neck, and your shoulder gets overstretched. And sometimes, just like a rubber band, becomes overstretched and it doesn't have enough kind of bounce back or, or it can't contract normally. So you want to strengthen that muscle. And that's camp, you want to strengthen it. So camp, you want to strengthen it, and then camp, you want to loosen up because it's too tight. So camp, you want to strengthen it. You want to build up that muscle. That muscle upwardly rotates the shoulder blade, and what that does, it one, it supports the shoulder itself. So if you don't have that movement and that strength, it can pinch the actual shoulder joint and cause shoulder problems. Also, it supports the head and the neck. So if you're doing a lot of twisting and turns with your neck, that muscle is not supportive, so it can cause headaches and neck pain as well. So I have one primary exercise and one secondary exercise. So the primary one is if you have access to some weight uh, or access to a gym is a shoulder shrug. So you hold the weight next to you, bring the shoulder up to your ear, very smooth and controlled. So you don't want to drop it. You don't want to go quick. You want to make sure that it doesn't shake too much. Some people will find that it kind of jitters or it shakes. You might want to cheat with your elbow or lock it out. Just bring this up to your ear, be super controlled. Compared to the other side, you might find that one side is easier than the other and has more control. Or even you have control, it might compensate more on one side versus the other. You don't have a weight, what do you do? You can easily take your backpack, a bag that you take to dance, fill it with shoes, fill it with a textbook, do the same exact thing and build up that muscle and watch the elbow. Make sure it stays in the same position. Don't lock it out. Don't do both. Don't let your head move. Sometimes people will do this. So that's another option. You don't have a backpack. Well, I do have a backpack, but let's just say you just have a band. You can pin this down with this arm, and I can actually, well, actually, sorry, apologies. You're going to step on it. This is still a primary one. You step on it, and you can do the same thing. You always want to make sure that when you're strength training, it's challenging. So by the time you get to 8 to 12, uh, repetition number 8, 9, 10 should be challenging. You should want to take a break and should be tight. That's how you build strength. That's how you build muscle. Uh, the secondary exercise you do is once you have a little more control of that is you can do an upward press. So with this band, I can pin it down here and do something like this. Okay, if it's long enough, this one's a little bit, little bit short. I can also step on it and do the same thing and be in control. So sometimes this will happen. Your neck might move. You want to just be in full control. Okay, if I use a dumbbell, same thing. Okay, I want to make sure I'm controlled. Up and down. Okay, that's a secondary exercise to build the strength. Now, what if you're in camp? It's tight. Usually, your body will tell you what it needs pretty quickly. You give it like one or two days try, maybe you try it just once, and you won't feel right. It'll spasm up, get tight, it'll hurt. It just won't feel comfortable. You're in the other camp. So for that, it's you're going to want to loosen it up because even though you're in this position, the body will tighten up because it perceives that your head's going to keep going down, 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 so it locks up and holds you back so it gets tight. So for that, you want to stretch out. So you can just put your hands on by your side, relax the arms, don't tense anything up. And if I'm stretching out this side, I'm just bringing my ear to my other shoulder, try not to turn, look up, or do some weird stuff like tense up. Do the other side, and your ear should come pretty close to your shoulder. That's how you can watch yourself if you want, look in the mirror, and see how far away you are. You might find a difference versus the other side. Sometimes this will tense up or come up to try to cheat. A way around that is you can put your hand in your pocket or hold on to something, maybe like my pant leg, but I prefer just to keep in my pocket and I just stretch. If you're sitting down, you hold on to the, to the chair and you stretch it out. You can also put your hands behind your back, clasp your hands, and then do the stretch there. And it's gentle, you're not pushing anything. There are some places you'll find that will pull the head, I will say, just let the gravity pull on your head. Don't do any added pressure because the neck can get sensitive. And you just hold it anywhere from 10 seconds to about one minute. 
and then you switch sides. And it's always gentle. Don't try to push anything. Don't try to be aggressive. And so test those out. See how that feels. And obviously, as I mentioned earlier, take breaks. If you know you're about to go dancing, if you know you have a little bit of an injury, it doesn't feel right, uh, monitor how long you are on your devices. Take a lot of breaks. If you're going dancing or going to a weekend or an event, make sure you take extra time away from it before you leave um, to, to go to that dance event. But doing these things are going to help uh, improve your symptoms if you already have them or you want to prevent them. I'm all about prevention, so don't let it get there. If it does hurt, if you do these things, you'll recover much faster. So see how it goes, and I'll see you soon.